Salut tout le monde! Hi everyone! Steven here for Tech Quebec. Uh, in today's video, we will have a look at a really, really cool device, the Yubico YubiKey 5 NFC Physical Security Key. But first of all, let's talk about online security, shall we? It's no surprise to anyone that in 2019, our lives are getting even more tied to our online presence. Every website, forums, products we buy or services that we subscribe to requires us to create an account of some sort using either an email or a single sign-on solution provided by a third party such as Facebook or Google. Let's be honest here, nowadays the internet is a really scary place. Whether you want it or not, at some point your information such as your email or your password maybe even your credit card number, will be leaked online. It's not really a matter of how anymore, but more of a when it's going to happen at this point. You know, 15 years ago, it was considered just fine having a single password for all your accounts. Basically, the extent of your online security would be resumed as your Windows password account at work, your personal email, and a couple of forums that you were hanging out at. As social medias and online services gained momentum in the last decade, the need to create accounts for everything grew exponentially. You know, from your Netflix account to your online banking account, the need for stronger security should have been a priority and a big red warning light for those who were ignoring it. Unfortunately, if I talk to people around me, chances are that the unique password they use for the past 15 years is pretty much the only one they're still using today. To be honest, I don't necessarily blame them. It would not be fair to ask people to memorize 10 to 15 different passwords just because service A asks for a special character while service B does not in their password policy. We saw really high severity and disturbing data breaches in the last two years, and there's no sign it will stop anytime soon if the beginning of 2019 is a sign of what's to come. The current pattern is relatively simple. Hackers target companies with security vulnerabilities. They find a way to access to the company databases through the vulnerability, then proceed to scrape the content of these databases. Finally, they sell the content of these to the highest bidder most notably through the dark web. Yep, that's a private life for you. Now, imagine you are affected by one of these breaches, in which your password was stored and encrypted. You're basically handling the keys of your virtual house. That would be very bad, right? Right. That's where two-factor authentications, or 2FA, comes into play. It won't prevent third-party individuals to have access to your leaked uh, personal information, but it will make sure they won't be able to have a potential direct access to your accounts. What's two-factor authentication? Well, in easy terms, it's a way to make sure that the person trying to access the account is the rightful owner of the said account. It's a second layer of security on top of your password. Usually, it challenges the user to input a code received by either text message or from the use of an external authentication application such as Google Authenticator. The problem is, it's a convoluted mess for normal people who just want to have safer accounts. Enters Universal Second Factor, or U2F, a new universal standard continuing the quest toward the complete removal of passwords. A physical form of 2FA if you want. The physical token comes into different flavor. USB, such as this one, NFC, also such as this one, or Bluetooth. The standard was initially developed by Google and Yubico, the company behind this gadget, to find a way to get rid of our over-reliance on passwords and also to simplify the two-factor authentication process that is usually an alien concept for a lot of people. The standard is now backed by the FIDO Alliance, an alliance of pretty much all the online powerhouse you can think of. Google, obviously, but also the Amazon, Intel, Microsoft, Facebook, Visa, and MasterCard of this world. This brings us to today's topic, this puppy the Yubico YubiKey 5 NFC security key. First of all, 
let's have a look at the physical package in which the YubiKey arrived. The model we have here is the YubiKey 5 NFC with USB Type A connection. I bought mine of Amazon.ca. It arrived in a plain envelope. What you see here is what you get. A teal and white piece of cardboard, a plastic clam and the key itself. There's no instruction packed in, only a link printed on the rear cardboard piece as seen here. On that note, don't expect to walk into Best Buy or Walmart and find one of the shelf for now. The key is only available through select online retailers, such as Amazon, or through their website directly, making it a bit more complicated to put your hands on the device. As the technology gets more and more adapted, chances are that we will eventually see them pop in retail stores. At 45 US dollars, or 60 Canadian dollars for us up north, the YubiKey 5 NFC could be considered their flagship and their top of the line consumer security key as of now. With USB and NFC connections and support for pretty much all the protocols available, U2F, FIDO 2.0, smart card and a one-time password, it's pretty much the be-all and all security device on the market right now. The key is water resistant and crush resistant, making it really sturdy. As you can see, don't expect to snap the YubiKey 5 and half by just looking at it. You can put the key in a keyring if it's your thing. It works out of the box with Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and almost every updated modern browsers, meaning that you won't have to download any sort of drivers or plugins to make it work, a feature he tell very proudly. Even though I only have the YubiKey 5 NFC in my possession, Yubico offers a ton of different products ranging from discrete nano keys that you can leave in your PC to USB-C keys and NFC compatible keys with different supported standards for different use case. You can check their products in the link in the description below. For the more advanced users out there, there's a couple of things you can configure through Yubico's YubiKey Manager software, such as a static password or a smart card pin. But for most of the users out there, the way the key is configured out of the box should be good enough for day-to-day -day operations. But Steven, that's great and all, but how does it work exactly? For the sake of keeping it simple for everyone, let's just say that only the encryption and decryption process is handled by the security key itself. When you try to log in to a website, the website sends an ID to the key to challenge it. The ID will then go through a process of calculation on the key and it will generate an output result. That output is sent back to the website who will be waiting for a very specific answer from the key. If the security key returns the answer the website is looking for, you will then be granted access. If the answer is incorrect, you won't be granted access, of course. You can find all the documentation regarding the key and the services it works with on Yubico's website. Unfortunately, since it's not a widespread piece of technology yet, chances are you will know exactly what you are buying, what you have in your hands, and know exactly what to do with it in the first place. Now, if you add to the link printed on the package, you will be greeted with an easy to follow, although just in English, tutorial to get you up and running with your YubiKey. In two simple steps, you will be identifying your key model and the services you want to configure the key for. You will then have a full step-by-step -step guide on how to configure the key for each of the supported services. One criticism I have with the whole website is, well, it feels cluttered. Between 2FA, U2F, FIDO, FIDO 2.0, the website is plastered with acronyms and technical terms. If they want people to adopt new standards, they will need to tone down the, the technical level needed to make it more understandable and less daunting for normal people. I won't ever stress that enough, that it needs to be as simple as possible to understand for non-tech savvy people. For a sensitive topic such as online security, you basically need to have a spoon-feeding approach if you want to have the best results possible. I sense the Yubico team tried to make it as user-friendly as possible, but there is still some room for improvement on that matter in my opinion. Let's see a demonstration, shall we? 
I'll be using Tech Quebec's Twitter account to demonstrate how easy it is to associate a YubiKey to an account to secure it. As stated earlier, the YubiKey 5 NFC supports a ton of services out of the box due to the slew of protocols that it, in, that it handles. A quick note here for uh, Firefox users, U2F is supported but is disabled by default in Firefox Quantum. You will need to uh, activate the feature uh, in the About Config section of your browser. Simply search for uh, U2F and modify the value from false to true to activate it. We'll see just right there. There it is. Just put that to true and it should be good to go from there. Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Chromium flavored browsers such as Opera all support U2F by default. Now let's over to the Twitter's uh, home page. We'll go to twitter.com. As you can see here, you can log to your account. We'll go take the Twitter, the uh, Tech Quebec Twitter account. Let's position that here and do that. Let's go. Log into your account. Obviously, my 2FA is activated on my account, so I should be receiving a text message in a couple of seconds. There it is. So I need to input the code that Twitter sends me. It will be that code for now. There we go. So uh, there it is. We're at the Twitter's own page. Actually, on my on my account. Whatever you do, uh, actually, that's a good practice. Whatever you do, it's important to always have a form of 2FA backup solution if you end up losing your keys. That way, you won't be locked out of your account. I can't stress that out enough when you'll be doing that. So the next step would be to navigate to your, your account profile, where is your uh, profile icon actually, and click on setups uh, and settings and privacy, excuse me. The security section should be directly in front of you. You can see that the uh, there's the login verification button right there. It says review your login, your login verification methods. Click on that button should bring you right next to uh, the confirm password section. Just do that. One second right now. Should not take too long. Do this. Confirm. And there we go. So you got your uh, your section right here to modify. There's the secu security key option. So we not just need to set it up. So technically it should be as easy as doing that, so uh, we want to add a security key or YubiKey here, right here to our account. So we just need to press start. It asks you to uh, uh, insert your key, so we'll just be doing that. Just insert your key. The process should take a couple of seconds. and press the button. You see it's just blinking right there. You click on that and there we go. It says now that you've added your key to this account let's complete the verification and just press again the button on the key and that's it. You're all set. Your account is now secured with your brand new YubiKey. And how cool is that? The whole process like you just seen it just takes about two or three minutes from start to finish. I have yet to test my key with my business Microsoft account. I'll be doing that in the next couple of days to check the integration between Microsoft Windows 10, Microsoft Office 365 and Microsoft Azure. I'll probably end up doing a separate follow-up video on that matter with a small tutorial on how to set up the key under your Microsoft account. So be sure to check it out once it's released. As for my final thoughts with the YubiKey, well, I've tried a lot of services that were actually available for the key and definitely the key gets a solid thumbs up from me. Online security is becoming more and more of a hot topic these days. 
And, you know, it's the right time for people to take the necessary actions to protect their online presence. Either by having stronger password policies and adding, you know, another layer of protection on top of it. The YubiKey is definitely a good alternative to the regular 2FA methods and clearly serves as a stopgap before we go passwordless in the near future. Some people will still prefer using the text message approach, but having a single key connected to your computer makes it easier to work with, in my opinion. It's easy to use whether you use the good old fashioned USB connection or use the NFC method. And personally, I did not encounter any issues so far with it. The key is really sturdy. It's been in and out of my pocket a good number of time without any noticeable damages. I even sent in the washing machine to test its water resistance and it survived easily. Let's be clear though, there is still a lot of improvement to be made to make it more accessible for regular users. Aside, with the distribution being only handled online, if they want to gain traction with less tech-savvy people, they will need to make it easier to get the product and make sure the technology is more approachable for a lack of a better term. The system is far from being perfect though. We still have a good way to go before we can finally say goodbye to passwords, but it's certainly a good step in the right direction to online security. For Tech Quebec, I'm Steven. If you like the video, press like and subscribe and check the links in the description below if you want to know more about the Yubico YubiKey 5 NFC. Thanks for watching, see you next time!